Now construction of a tangent, how do we geometrically construct a tangent to the circle at that particular point on the circle using the geometrical instruments or the geometrical knowledge is what we're going to discuss for the session. It's quite easy because construction of a tangent is based on the recent theorem which we have discussed which says that the radius is always perpendicular to the tangent at that particular point of contact of the circle. Therefore, using that property, let's see how a tangent can be constructed for a circle with suitable radius. So initially, let me start with the steps. So my step one says that draw a circle with center O. So I just draw a circle with center O is what is my step one. Then I take a point P on the circle, any point P, say for example, I take a point P on the circle so that I join OP. Clearly, OP is the radius, the radius which passes through the point P is how I get. Now for any point P on the circle, OP is the radius and let's, I assume this as the point of contact, then I want to draw a tangent to that circle. Now we all know that since the radius is perpendicular to tangent, so if I wanted to draw a tangent at the point of contact P, then I need to have exactly 90 degrees drawn from OP. So I put the protractor here and then from this protractor, I just try to measure the angle which is 90. Exactly marking the 90 degrees and just extending that line, I get the perpendicular line which is called the tangent. So this is how we construct the tangent to the circle at the point P where my step one is drawing a circle with center O and then my step two is joining O and P and my step three is taking a protractor and exactly putting that at P and marking 90 degrees and then extending the line along that 90 degrees I get a straight line passing through P and perpendicular to OP where this is called the tangent which is constructed for the given circle. This is how the tangent is constructed for a given circle with suitable radius. It's very simple. Construction of a tangent using the geometrical properties. Radius perpendicular to tangent. This, now this construction makes me clearly understand that for every point there's only one tangent because if I take the point on the circle and draw the tangent, I do not have two tangents which can pass through the same point. So this construction makes me come out with the learning outcome that at every point, point on the circle, we can draw one and only one tangent to the circle. One and only one tangent, which clearly is evident through the construction as made. One point on the circle, only one tangent. No two tangents can be drawn from one point on the circle, is how we come with the learning outcome through the construction of a tangent using the geometrical knowledge. Now this topic is the continuation of the previous session of construction of a tangent. Interestingly, the difference being that I have to construct a tangent to the circle whose center is not known. So how do I locate the center for a circle and then find the tangent is the biggest challenge for this topic. So when the center is not known, obviously we don't know the radius and hence we cannot base on the radius to draw a perpendicular line which will be the tangent because radius is perpendicular to tangent. Now in this case, let's see how we can construct a tangent though the center of circle is not known. So in this case, let me take the steps which involve a circle. Let me take a circle whose center is not known. So I take the point P on the circle, say 
the point P on the circle is this. On any part of the circumference I take here, the point P on the circle, then I join to get the chord. So let me take another point Q on the circle such that I join so that PQ is the second or the chord of the circle. <coughs> so with the construction of P and Q joined, with Q being a point on the other side of the circle, then with this I try to create the radius. How do I get the radius from the circle? Since we know that angle in a semicircle is 90 degrees, that is, when I take a circle and just divide it exactly half, then any angle made by the semicircle will be 90 degrees. Using the concept of angle in a semicircle is 90 degrees, this becomes the diameter. Therefore, I try to construct a semicircle using the property of angle in a semicircle is 90 degrees. Therefore, when I join P and Q, PQ being the chord, I can get the diameter this using, I can get the diameter AP if I can construct the angle PQA as 90 degrees. So immediately I put my protractor at Q and then putting my protractor out here, I try to measure the angle 90, exactly the 90 degrees and then extend. this out here. So when I extend this, this line tends to cut <coughs> the circle at the other side as say, I take it as R. I take this as point R. Now I get this to be 90 using the protractor. The measurement of angle is 90. Therefore PQR is 90 degrees. Immediately when PQR is 90 degrees, RP tends to be the diameter because this is the property in a semicircle. Since the angle in a semicircle is 90 degrees, when I join this, <coughs> I get this to be the diameter. So RP is the diameter of the circle. Now this being the diameter, exactly the middle of RP, take the measurement and cut the measurement into half, I get the center of the circle which can be created from the angle in a semicircle. So dividing this into two parts by using the perpendicular bisector concept, I get this and then more than half and then I get the perpendicular bisector which gives me the center as wo. So this center wo will give us the radius which is nothing but the radius. And from radius, I can construct the tangent because radius is perpendicular to tangent. Therefore, put the protractor out here and then measure the angle. Then clearly, I get a line which is a tangent to the circle. <coughs> so it's quite interesting that even though we don't know the center of the circle, initially, we try to identify the center of the circle by joining the chord PQ by locating some point Q on the other side of the circle and joining PQ and then drawing a 90 degrees angle, we get a point, third point which cuts the circle here and then join PR which is the diameter. Now to get the center of the circle is nothing but exactly half of the diameter. Therefore, I take more than half and the compass is used to construct the perpendicular bisector. So with the perpendicular bisector, I get the center which intersects the perpendicular bisector with the diameter. Now once I know the center, I know that OP is the radius and therefore using my protractor out here, I measure the angle 90 and pass through P. Therefore, I get the radius perpendicular tangent. Therefore, this is how the tangent is constructed from the circle where the center of circle is not given. It's how we construct the tangent for a circle with an unknown center.